Well, hello, boys and girls. Here we are again, back at uh, Seacon Banquet. Uh, what am I doing here? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try and get some lunch. A bit on the peckish side, but uh, uh, this is a bit of a continuation from the IT challenges. Um, and uh, what I'm looking for is some little gadget, uh, a gadget that can be attached to my handle here on my camera that can allow me to actually have a dual camera set up on a single boom. And that's a bit hard to explain because you've got to see both cameras. So I've got this camera and this camera, right? And really I want to sort of set up something that can actually have two in one. Um, I've seen a couple of things on Lazada and uh, yeah, that's on Lazada coming from overseas. Will it get here? I thought let's go and check out the camera shops and see if there's any gadgets in these camera shops. But anyway, uh, first things first, let's go and get some food. Of course, there was a secondary reason why I was going to come here. I remember a couple of years ago for Halloween, uh, they did a Halloween thing down here in Sikon Bankay. It was quite interesting, so we'll go and check that out as well. Now, what's this video about? Well, this video about, you know, what do you do here in Thailand when your wife's working, or wife, in inverted commas, we will get married eventually one day. Um, there was currently sort of a, a talk back in the government again about sort of making the same-sex marriage thing uh, an option. Um, this time is looking like uh, about the most promising we've actually seen here in Thailand because we've actually got both sides of the equation, you know, the left and right-hand sides of the government actually think that the whole idea is great for supporting. So um, we actually may see some changes by the end of the year. And of course, if you want to know more about that, stick tuned to this channel here. Hit that like, guys. Uh, hit that subscribe. And uh, if you really feel in the know or in the in the money, hit that Patreon button, guys. And we'll see. Maybe we can give you something special. That's a handy wall. What have we got in here? Let's go and check it all out. Wonder what sort of spooky food we've got in here too, eh? Have the cup. Well, I thought the vaping was illegal. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a little vampire. Hanging around the malls is actually not a bad pastime as a farang. I wonder what you got in there. Let's see if there's some sort of meditation chamber in here. <laughs> Don't ask me, I've got no idea. <coughs> One of the biggest problems you've got about being tall here in Thailand is all the short people. <laughs> Can be a bit challenging. So what have we got over here? Okay, Seacon Ghost House, okay. Uh, it's got a schedule, was it uh, 1.30? Okay, we've got half an hour wait. I'm not gonna hang around for half an hour, that's for certain. Well, last time I was here, they had the whole thing confined to the uh, main central area, but it looks like uh, this time they spread it out, but it's, I don't think it's really as quite as good as it was at last time, but uh, they've definitely made an effort on all the bits and pieces. Spiders and spider webs. This is something that Seacon Bankay always does. You might be asking why I'm down here at Seacon Bankay and not going to the Mall Bankay, which is uh, another three or four kilometers up the road. Well, they started rebuilding the mall about a year ago and it's still not finished. 
No, so there's hardly anything open there. Scaredy girl. Oh my god. One thing about Thailand, the Thais definitely love their kanom, don't they? I've never seen so much junk food in one place. <laughs> it looks good too. <laughs> what are we doing here? We've got another section downstairs. Oh no. No, it's just a supermarket. Okay. Let's go and I one other thing. I think she's a ghost. Your ghost. Oh yeah, scary. <laughs> Anyway, I, I was going to go and get some food. Uh, all the Halloween food doesn't look all that appetizing. But I'm going to go to a good old trusty McDonald's because I know the fact that that won't kill me. I should rephrase that. It won't kill me right away, if you know what I mean. You know, I know it'll all kill you eventually. You know, food's the worst thing for human beings. It makes you die. You know, everybody dies. It must be the food. Who knows? OK, I think we've got a queue inside here somewhere. OK. We'll go and do it to the counter, I think. I don't know what it is. Every time you talk about going and eat McDonald's in, in uh, Thailand, everybody from every outside of Thailand will say, why would you go and eat McDonald's, you know, when you've got all that lovely Thai food around? Well, it's easy. 99 baht for a, what's it, full of fish, fries, and a medium fries and a Coke. It's a good round meal. It covers pretty much all your major food groups, plus a lot of sugar. And, uh, well, it fills you up. It takes away the hunger pain so you can actually sort of think about other food that you might want to eat for tonight, you know? Anyway, uh, i got to get up to the level three, so let's go again. I also need to get myself an ATM. I've got 20 baht in my wallet. <laughs> uh, although you don't need cash here much these days here in Thailand, pretty much everywhere you go will allow you to do this QR code scan uh, for payments. Uh, either, you know, it'll be from a system where it'll actually give you the full price or It'll be a system where you scan the code for their account and just type the number in. Just got to make sure you always type that number in carefully. A couple of times I've caught myself out putting an extra zero in there. Oops, oops, let's go back once more. <laughs> you know what I mean? You've got to be very careful with that one. Um, but uh, the little tips and tricks, I mean, that's what you guys want now, is all the tips and tricks of being caught out here in Thailand. Um, I'm always challenged for, you know, why people want all the mundane stuff, but from people seem to want the mundane stuff. Uh, I would not have normally sort of shot this type of video because you know, to me it just seems like just you know, stuff you do, you know. This is what we do. We don't think about it, we just do it. Um, but you guys want to see how it's done in Thailand. Well, it's done the same way as Thailand as they do it anywhere else. So, yeah, okay. Uh, do I want a mask? This is, this is scary mask over here. What have you got? 50 baht. Oh, I might get one of those things on the way home. Mm. Okay, we want some escalators. They're over here so like... Back on the subject of the actual reason for being here, that sort of bracket that will hold the two different cameras on the one stick. Um, that's what I found a few little odds and ends in uh, Lazada, but nothing's perfect. You know, if I don't find anything here, maybe I should talk to my friend uh, Chester down in Patia. He's got a 3D printer. Maybe he can make something up for me. Um, but yeah, the, one, the biggest problem is the fact that the Sony has a standard um, screw type uh, footing uh, for the camera and your GoPro has the standard you know, patented GoPro uh, you know, footing and you'll never find anything that actually matches the two of those together. And I think I'm on the wrong floor again. <laughs> this is the, no, no, yes, no, this is, yeah, this is the <laughs> harbour land. Yeah, this is the kids zone. i, I got to go down one. Dumb me. So that's what you get for talking into a camera and not watching where you're going. There's all the phone stuff over there. Not that I'm looking for phone stuff, I just know the phone stuff is where all the camera stuff is. Yeah, and there's a big banana too. See, God, I must have walked right past that. Oh, that's right, it was on the other side. Oh well, okay, here we go. Camera stuff. I keep looking at these things here. We've got the, the Rode uh, Pro Wireless which is our receiver and two transmitters so you can mic up two people. There's the Boya. I actually bought uh, this Saraphonic one, which was the old Saraphonic with the two heads. It worked all right, but I wasn't really happy with the audio quality out of it. 
Uh, looks like they've got a Link 900 out now. Might be sort of more along the road wireless the design. But uh, uh, like they, they're coming at about 10 to 12,000 baht, and well, I only sort of get to talk. Well, we're doing all right with this microphone at the moment. We'll see what we get. Well, that one there was a bit short on the accessory side. What do we got in here? There's some pretty good sort of camera gear coming out these days. But again, trying to find these little you know, bracket accessories that really don't match up. So what I'm trying to do is very unique, running two cameras at once. Um, why do I want to run two rank cameras at once? Well, you know, B-roll. Um, I'm constantly just swapping the cameras around, you know, turning the camera when I'm filming. And it sometimes breaks the like, thought of conversation. So, you know, breaks the conversation, breaks the, the thought. What do we got here? DJ Action 2. Okay. That one there was a bit on short on the accessory side of things too. Uh, keep on wondering. I'm sure we'll find something eventually. Ah yes, B2H. This is a place I've bought little odds and ends at before. They tend to have a bit more of an accessories range than the, the other places. Let's have a look in here. Okay, so what we found here is a little uh, DLSR cold shoe which has multiple attachment points and we have this one here with a couple of extra arms and some of the little brackets to screw ons which will allow me to sort of convert uh, the, the, the convert the um, GoPro into a standard camera fitting and it'll go into a sort of a, 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 a light shoe you know or the flash shoe which is perfect okay two of these things don't I so we did the uh, the payment transfer on the on the K bank um, now oh, there we go, it's finally it took a couple of minutes for it to go through to the bank, so there you go. 1,040 baht, that should get me out of trouble. It's about what I was going to pay on, uh, on Lazada anyway for their little gadget. But this is like, uh, I think it's so much more versatile. It's going to make things a bit bulky, I might have to get a new carry bag to carry things. But uh, the lad here, I can you what I? Zen. Zen, okay, he's, he helped me very good. Thank you very Zen, very much Zen. And your, your wife? No, 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 um, they've usually been able to sort, of sort me out for what I wanted. I think I've got a flash here, I've got a tripod here, I've got a couple of other you know, GoPro bits and pieces here in the past. And uh, they always seem to have something that always seemed to work, so it's all good. Anyway, let's continue our little wander around. I've actually solved my problem, but uh, we're still here in the shopping centre, so let's have a look, see what else we can find. So hard to keep track of things going on in shopping centres, like I was here two weeks ago, honestly. That wasn't being built two weeks ago. It's amazing how quick they throw shit up. But anyway, um, let's go and head out this way. Don't need anything else here. Well, I don't think I need anything else here. You never know, tech stuff is always one of those sort of things, isn't it? One thing that's always uh, surprised me here in Thailand, uh, the price of a phone is not something that uh, the average Thai can just throw money down at. Sometimes that these things you get into like finance requirements to actually finance your iPhone. But uh, why so many stands? I never saw that in Australia, I'm sure. I, you know, like multiple sort of mobile phone accessory stands and you know phone cover stands. I really feel that is something very, very unique to Thailand or maybe it's the whole of Asia. I can only really judge from Thailand because I haven't been anywhere else apart from Thailand. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be sort of packed. Half of the path, half of the course uh, in uh, maybe Cambodia, Laos, and uh, Myanmar as well, or and Malaysia. But, uh, it's just something that's unfamiliar when it comes to those sort of things. But yeah, I haven't been in Australia for seven years, so I really can't be a judge on that, can I? I did say the fact that these uh, big malls try to put all the you know, like minded tech in sort of one place so it makes it easier to navigate. But uh, there's always ring ins like Remax here. This is a camera accessories and mobile phone accessories it's on the completely wrong floor uh, but uh, maybe they don't want to move who knows there's also Jmart over there as well let's see what they've got on the shop 
usually it's just junk, but uh, uh, you never know. There might be something there that's handy. Of course, when I take Shanya here, this is her safe favorite place. That's uh, where all the clothing is. She loves going shopping down there. And uh, I'm saving myself a few bar today because she's not with me, she's still working. <laughs> She loves her shopping. Maybe I should get a little witch head for her. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Where are we going? I think I'm on level three and a half, so it's the way out. Let's see if we can get out of here and uh, get on our way back home. Let's do the actual part of the setting up thing, you know? See if it actually works or not. I do often get asked about where do you meet really nice transgender women? Um, Really, really hard question to answer that, unless of course you're over here, but uh, I think the best ones you want to find here are the ones that are working in the shops here. You know, they're not part of the you know, weird trade of Patia and Phuket. You know, I'm going to say weird because it's not so weird for most travellers coming to those areas. Um, but yeah, uh, if you find one around here, you know, they're generally sort of, you know, quite approachable. You know, they'll chat to you and help you out with your buying and everything else. Uh, you may have a bit of trouble discerning which ones are Salsong. Um, that's where you need an expert like me to tag along for a bit of fun. Um, anyway, I think we've had enough. We're out of here. So again, if you like these videos, hit that like uh, and uh, we'll do more of them. Uh, more of the actual just living in Thailand, which I think is what you guys have been after. So peace out and stay cool. Thank you.